and I'm so excited. I hope that you can hear me. I hope that you can see me. Yay, Craig, welcome. We are ready to go. And there I have Plant-Based Attic. You always have a chance to jump in. It's like you've got Instagram attached to you, Adam. What's going on? All right, so now that I've shared this out a little bit, I am going to start by telling you, my name's Shoshana Chaim, and I am the other half of the Plant Trainers Podcast. My co-host, Adam, and husband, he is actually away in Europe doing all kinds of training and supervising and eating his plant-based face through Europe right now. So he arrived in Prague this morning. So I'm so excited for him. And I get to be here with you guys. So I am the lucky one because I'm here doing, holding down the plant trainer's fort. My name is Shoshana Chaim. I am a plant-based nutrition and wellness consultant, giving you the tools that you need to help improve your quality of life and really concentrate on a plant-based lifestyle, on a healthy lifestyle, and get things going. Hey, 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 all right. So I'm gonna try to keep up with the comments. On Instagram, they go really fast, lots of people, and on Facebook, the more people that watch, the better. Um, and what, hey, from Astoria, Oregon. Whoa, hi, Nancy, how are you doing? How you doing? All right, so for those of you who don't know, today we're going to be talking about bananas. We're gonna be talking, the cat's eating. We're gonna be talking about pineapples. We're gonna be talking about pineapples today, what they're all about, what you can do with them, how you can make your life that much better with pineapples. But what I'd love for you to do is I'd love for you to share this out, share it on your personal page, or tag someone who you know who could benefit from learning how to cut a pineapple, what to do with a pineapple, how to maneuver a pineapple, why pineapple's good for you, Maybe you don't want to share it out with someone who's allergic to pineapple, but maybe they could share it with somebody. I don't know. So definitely share it and press that little follow button below so that when I do go live on Wednesdays or any other time, you get the notification and you could be here learning about a plant-based lifestyle, about a healthy lifestyle from us, the plant trainers. And make sure that you tune in every week. Every week we, repl we, repl we release a new podcast on Tuesdays, so make sure that you tune in every week to our podcast. Last summer we did a lot of replays to kind of get you through the summer, old ones that we thought that new listeners hadn't heard. This year we managed to record, we like double did it in all of May and all of June to be able to get them out through July and August while Adam's traveling, so that is awesome. You wanna know how to caramelize them. You did it once, it was so good. So I'm gonna talk about that in the healthiest way possible today. Hey, Laird. And Holistic Vegan's back. Yay, Holistic Vegan's back. She actually won a prize. So she wants to know where the podcast website is. If you go to planttrainers.com, you will find our podcast there. You could download it straight from our site. You could also go to iTunes, which is now Apple Podcasts. You could go to Stitcher. You could go to Spotify. You could go just about anywhere where podcasts are played and you could download the Plant Trainers Podcast. And do us a favor, if you're here and you're watching and you like what you see, give us a subscribe too, because that helps other people. When you download, it really helps too, and when you subscribe, it helps even more. It puts us just a little bit higher up on that list, so when people start to scroll down, they see our podcast. We've been listed as like top five, top 10, top 15 podcasts by so many other of these amazing plant-based people out there. And we're so grateful for that. So for sure, we want you to check it out. Loving all these hearts. Thank you. All right. NP Foch. I'm trying to read that. So you guys on Instagram, you're on my phone and you guys are on my, oops, love pineapple. You guys are on my Facebook, on my iPad. I want to know how to caramelize them. All right. So we did that. Okay. So what we're gonna do today is you're going to right now share it out, you're gonna right now follow up, and we're gonna start talking. You grow your own organic produce? You grow, do you grow your own pineapples? Let me know if you grow your own pineapples. That's what I wanna know. So throughout this live, um, I will be giving out a prize at the end, so I'll let you know at the end um, who's going to win a little bit of a prize today. And um, let me know how you love your pineapple the best. So why should we love pineapple? Well, first of all, they're nice and they're spiky, right? Pineapples are nice and pineapples are spiky and I think, oops, there you go. I think that that's awesome. So what I wanna know is what did the romaine lettuce say when he met a pineapple? He said, let us be friends. Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go, the cheesy jokes. So pineapples are full of vitamins and minerals. They've got 
different types of bees in there, all these amazing types of bees. They've got folate, also another type of bee, really important for making sure that your cells are doing really well. And they've got fiber, fiber, fiber. Fiber is good to help you stay full. Fiber is good to help control you know, blood sugar. Fiber is good to help you let everything out because the longer that it sits in there, the more chance of illness happening back there as well. So you definitely want to get everything out. So hold on to your pineapples and eat them. Um, yes, you can grow your own pineapple. I know you could grow your own pineapple, but do you grow your own pineapples? It depends on the climate. What climate do you live in? Um, cheesy jokes. Julie likes my cheesy jokes. They're great for, yes, I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. So Pineapples are really, really, really high in vitamin C, like crazy high in vitamin C. So as soon as you get a cough or a cold or a stuffy nose, you want to try to get in as much vitamin C as possible. Yes, of course, lemon is awesome, but sometimes it's good just to eat a pineapple. You're going to get fiber. You're going to get bulk in there. You're going to get all of these amazing vitamin vitamins and minerals, especially the vitamin C. So that's going to help minimize your cold. That's going to help your skin as well right? It's going to help your skin. And who does not love good skin? Hey, Ryan, nice for joining us. And Derm, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> All right. Then everybody's waving. That's awesome. So it's also got antioxidants. Antioxidants are amazing in your body because it helps the blood to really um, do its job properly, right? It helps the blood vessels stay healthy and allows your blood flow. It allows the blood to get to different areas and it brings that extra oxygen so that it can start to work its way around in that area. And of course, um, antioxidants are great for your organs. And what is your largest organ? Who knows? Drum roll, please. It is your skin, right? So again, coming back to that skin, if you want good skin, if you want your skin to turn over, if you want to start to eliminate whatever's causing your acne, start to eat some pineapples, start to get some amazing antioxidants into your body and some amazing vitamin C into your body as well. Your skin, you got it, you got it. She's got all the answers. So that's just some of the reasons why pineapple are good for you. So, um, when is an apple not an apple? When it's a pineapple, woo, pineapple, all right. Cheesy pineapple jokes, that's all I got. So if you have a cheesy pineapple joke that you want me to read out, just say it below and I will most definitely read it out. Okay, as you can see here in the back, I have my yummy kids activity, my yummy foods activity book for kids. And why I have that out today is because what we're doing today is a little bit of food literacy. Food literacy means what is the food? Where does it come from? How does it impact us? How might it impact the environment? What is it that we need to know about food, real food, not food that comes from a package, but real, real food. And our Yummy Kids activity book does exactly that. Different pages, crossword puzzles, wonder words, coloring sheets, um, explanations on foods that grow on trees, right? There's a whole explanation and then the whole beautiful crossword puzzle too. So that's available on Amazon. So if you hop over to amazon.ca or amazon.com, depending where you live, you can order that. Um, I believe it's somewhere US, maybe like, I'm gonna say 12 or $13 US, maybe 12 or $13 Canadian. It really depends, it's forever changing. But if you have young kids in your life or you're an aunt or an uncle or you want, you, you teach, get this because kids love it. They love it, love it, love it, love it. So what can we do with pineapples? We can do a lot of different things with pineapples. If you were on our summer refreshers last week, you saw me talk about making popsicles. And one of the ways I talked about popsicles is through juice, right? So here I have this organic pineapple juice. And what is important here is that it is not from concentrate. But what you wanna make sure is that it is not one of those fruit juices where it's been taken all the water out it's been concentrated when it's yes when it's concentrated it's been all the water has been taken out it has been frozen it has been shipped halfway across the country water's added back into it it's pasteurized and then it's served to you you want it to be not from concentrate you want it to be actually from the fruit but even better than that and this is what i use in my inflammation shot so when i make an inflammation anti-inflammatory shot where you can get the recipe at planttrainers.com i keep the recipe right here in my cupboard for when I need to make it if somebody's sick or if Adam has had a really long run or anything like that, then I process. Yes, 
Then I, hi Lisa, how you doing? Um, so then what I do is I use this pineapple juice because I don't often have last minute a pineapple that's ready to use and we'll talk about how to choose it when it's ready, ready to use to make the pineapple juice. So you want to make sure that it's not from concentrate, right? You want to make sure that it has not been, all the water hasn't been squeezed out and frozen and transferred. You want it to have as many vitamins and mineral and all of the um, original water still in there, but even better would be to take half a pineapple, add some filtered water to it, and then make your own pineapple juice that way because that way the fiber is still in there. It might not really be intact, but the fiber is still in there and that makes it that much better. And then you know exactly what it is that you're getting. How long is the pineapple season where you guys are? We don't really have pineapple season. Our, pineapple seas, our pineapples are brought in. We're up in Toronto, Canada. Pineapples don't grow locally. So we have pineapple season all year round because it's constantly being flown in from places all year round. Hey, plant trainer. Hey, Lisa. Yay. All right. So sorry about that little brain mishkabibble before. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so you could make popsicles from pineapple juice or from pineapples by adding water and blending it down. You could also make smoothies. Pineapples make a really great base for your smoothie. <coughs> there we go, need some pineapple juice tonight. Pineapples make a really great base for the smoothie. It's nice, it's sweet, it's tart, and it's got that huge vitamin C kick that we talked about and all of those other vitamins and minerals in there as well. You could also make fruit salad, right? You can make fruit salad, I know my Adam's grandmother used to cut the pineapple rounds and put like the maraschino cherries inside with all fruits all around. I didn't like that very much and I'm not, I wouldn't tell anybody to go eat maraschino cherries, but at the same time, it was pretty and it was nice and it was fun and it reminds me of her. But putting your pineapple into fruit salads is really great as well. You could also make that inflammation shot that I was just talking about, anti-inflammatory shot. So whether you're sick, whether you're running big races, you want your body to recuperate, wherever, if you have um, arthritis, if you need to reduce the swelling in your body for some reason, making that anti-inflammatory shot is great. It is on our website and it's um, basically lemon juice, garlic, ginger, turmeric, um, you could put any kind of sweetener if you want to, but if you're putting pineapple juice, you don't have to. If you're putting coconut water, you might need some. And of course, a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. And if you really wanna up it up, then put some turmeric in there and a little bit of pepper, ground pepper as well. On the top of mashed bananas, pineapple is the bomb. Yeah, chop that up. Chop that stuff up and put it on top. Grilled pineapple is delicious. It is vitamins and minerals. Okay, so someone was asking at the beginning, how do you caramelize it? That you, I think that you were asking, Julie, how do you caramelize um, pineapple that you had at once? So, if you've had it in a restaurant or at a friend's house, most likely they've taken bananas. Um, they may have put a little bit of butter or margarine or something of the sorts in a frying pan and they may have heated that up and then a little bit of maybe brown sugar and maybe just done it like that, like kept tossing it over and over. That is not what I recommend here at Plant Trainers. Um, eat pineapple for dinner and then you'll get rid of a lot of excess water. Deflated stomach next morning. That sounds perfect. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna cut that pineapple up and what we did before um, the May 2-4 weekend or Memorial Day weekend, a few weeks before that, we did this whole barbecue one. So if you go to YouTube and you search Plant Trainers or Adam Chain um, on YouTube, then you could find where we did all these barbecues. But when you slice up the pineapple and put it straight on the barbecue and it starts, all the juices and the sugars start to come out and it makes it taste just like a caramelized um, pineapple, but you're not adding any saturated fat, you're not adding any cholesterol, you're not adding any added, added sugar as well. So that is a really, really great way to get that delicious flavor. Then you could also put that onto burgers, or you could just make a pineapple burger out of that, right? Or you could go to theplanttrainers.com and you could download, you could, ooh, bless you, sneezing from another room. You could go to planttrainers.com and you could find our recipe for our sweet potato almond burgers and you can make, bless you, you can make some um, pineapple to go on top of that, which would be delicious. Have you heard of pineapple salsa? Pineapple salsa is delicious. If you love pineapple, cut up some tomatoes, cut up some red onion, 
Um, squeeze some lime juice on there, some cilantro, and if you're into it, put a little bit of jalapenos as well. And that is totally delicious salsa that you could be adding on your taco night, you could be adding on your wraps or burritos or just part of your barbecue side dish, whatever it is. Let's see what we got. Grilled pineapple burgers are the bomb. They are the bomb, sounds amazing. Yes, pineapple salsa, woo! Hey, Debbie, hi, see your little waving there. All right, so what else would you use pineapples for? That is what I wanna know. Or why would we use pineapples? Well, if you've got poor digestion, you wanna add pineapple into your diet. As long as it's something that suits you, that you're not allergic to, because there are a lot of people out there who are allergic to pineapple, but um, it's really great for digestion. It helps to break down the proteins that you're eating. So it really does help. It's really good for the immune system. Like I said, that vitamin C, those antioxidants, and we are raising up the immune system in there and it can help the body feel um, less pain as well. So if you're someone who's got arthritis or pain from working out or something like that, adding pineapple, upping those antioxidants in the body is really, really helpful as well. And again, if you do have a choice between the juice and the pineapple, I would go for the pineapple. If you wanna get more pineapple in, then I would cut this baby up and I would stick it in the processor and make some kind of smoothie or juice out of the whole pineapple, well, not this part, obviously, but the whole inside of the pineapple so that you're getting as many nutrients as possible. Triathlete, how you doing? Laird is giving me some eyes. Ooh, I hope I'm not missing anybody. It's going fast, and like I said, you guys are on my phone and you guys are on my iPad, so it is definitely um, going fast, but, you could always check this out back at Plant Trainers on Facebook um, for 24 hours on Instagram. It will be on the replay on our stories. You just have to go to the live there. And of course, um, it's always posted later on on YouTube. So if you've ever missed any of these lives that I've been doing every Wednesday, you could catch us there on YouTube. How to pick the proper pineapple in the store to know when it's good to cut. That is exactly what we're doing next. So right here, I have two pineapples. I have two pineapples. Usually, now, it depends where you are, but in my store, <laughs> usually when you go to get pineapples, they are not ready. They're definitely usually not ready. But, um, so what you wanna do is if you know you're having company on the weekend and you wanna be, you know, cutting up some pineapple, putting it on the barbie, making some burgers, then uh, you definitely wanna get these a couple of days in advance, depending how hot or cold your house is. The hotter your house, the more they're gonna be ready faster, right? So I bought these just the other day, probably on Monday, I think. So here's a few ways to know. The greener it is, and it also depends what part of the world, because this might change, but for, North, for most of North America, the greener it is, the more unripe it is, right? So as it starts to turn this yellowy color, you know that it's ready. The other thing that I do is I turn it over, and if it's getting all moldy at the bottom, then I know that it's probably more than ready. But what I do is I turn it over and I smell it. And I see which one smells more. So actually, this one smells just a little bit more, and when I give it a tiny little squeeze, it should have a little bit of give. This one has just a little bit more give than this one, although I do think that this one would be ready too. This one has more give. The other thing that you can do is you can, oh, thank you, my little assistant, the pineapple fell, is you could pull out, you could pull out a leaf. And as you see, like I had to give a little bit of tug, but I didn't put a lot of effort into that. Let me try the other one. I don't remember, oh, that one came out a little bit better. So let me see, which was the one? I think it was this one. Ah, again. Your pineapple keeps my, my, well, better my pineapples than my brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my the one. Feet. Oh, this is the one that we are going to cut today. So I want to know, can you see this? That's what I would like to know. Okay, I'm gonna do the best I can. So, actually, on, let me see, am I able to? I can't type it now. But on YouTube, if you Google plant trainers or Adam Chaim, C-H-A-I-M as in Mary, if you Google Adam Chaim on YouTube, 
you'll be able to find a pineapple video where I do a pretty elaborate cut of the pineapple. So what I did is I peeled it all off, right? Peeled it all off and then I cut sideways all of the little um, holes that were left with all the little black spots inside and I made this really nice pattern and then I cut it all up and it's beautiful. Now, do we all have time for that? No. I like doing it that way because I like to save as much as the pineapple as possible, but what I learned is that I wasn't saving a lot of time either. And sometimes time is really important. When I have one-on-one -on -one clients that I need to plan for, when I have, um, you know, Friday I have a big lecture that I'm giving and I need to make sure that I'm ready for it or I'm traveling to um, LA or New York or Texas, wherever it is that I'm going to speak, I just don't have that much time. So what I've started doing more recently is I've started cutting the pineapple a little bit differently. So as, I, as you can see, I cut it in half and then I cut it into a quarter. Now, if it's really ripe, then you will not need to cut this stem out. This is pretty ripe. I can feel right here that there's given there. I'm gonna leave that stem in, but if not, what you could do, and I'll just do it this one time, you could cut off that inside part right there, and you could save it for your smoothies. You don't have to throw it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn it on its side, and I'm gonna just cut this way a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn it on its side. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Got an idea. Yeah. Okay, there we go, it's called improvising. I mean, I knew I was gonna do that all along. So then I'm just gonna cut to the side, just like that, again. Just gotta make sure it doesn't fall over. So there you go. There's none of these little um, black things anywhere, right? And I've got a beautiful pineapple. Just need to try to keep this even. And there I'm gonna cut, 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 and serve. <laughs> All right, so if you need to see that again. Tastes like pineapple. Wow, it tastes like pineapple. My assistant, everybody. <laughs> Who do we have here? That's a great method. Yeah, so what I would do before is I just, I would cut it off the side, trying to spare a lot, and then I would cut that way, that way, and cut these little things out, and you could check out the video there. So what I do is I just grab it by the side, make sure my knife is nice and sharp. I actually sharpened, could have done it more, sharpen the knife before I started, and like that. So if you want your kids, or your nieces, or your nephews, or your students, or the kids down the street, to really learn about food like we did today. You know, does it grow on trees? Does it grow in the ground? Is it good for your skin? Is it good for your liver? Um, you know, does it make you feel good? Does it give you energy? Does it help your digestion? Um, you know, how do you cut it? What is the safety around cutting it? If you want your kids to start to learn things like that, then I definitely, definitely suggest that you go to Amazon and you check out the Yummy Foods Activity Book for kids. I'm all full of pineapple, but here it is. Cool. The Yummy Foods Activity Book for Kids that Adam and I wrote. All puzzles, crossword puzzles, word searches, all different kinds of information so that kids can definitely learn more about the good foods that are, grow in the world and we can, um, you know, serve. get them knowing more. Serve. We could serve. Get them knowing <laughs> more about food more about food so that they're gonna make the healthy choices, they're gonna understand about how it affects their body, and they're gonna make the healthy choices, and they are going to take that into adulthood. So here you have it, the Yummy Foods Activity Book for Kids, people. Um, yeah, that follow button below. If you are on Instagram and you are not following us yet, follow us at Plant Trainers, check us out on Facebook. We have tons of great information going on our Instagram Live, our Facebook, our Instagram, YouTube, and of course the Plant Trainers Podcast that can be found anywhere like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of those really great places, and you can get um, your information to make transformation. Yeah. Elevation helps. Yes, <laughs> elevation helps. Hmm, that was weird. I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful night. I hope that everybody has an amazing day, and um, I'm going to choose... A winner. I'm going, to I'm going to choose a winner. I'm going to choose a winner. And our winner is going to get a... Um, free pineapple. A, a free pineapple. I'm not sticking that in the mail. The winner is going to get um, a Four Sigmatic 
um, little packet to make some kind of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever it is that I randomly pick out. And if you are interested in Four Sigmatic products, you can go to foursigmatic.com slash plant trainers and you will get 10% off at checkout. So we'll see you there. All right, everybody, our winner is, I'm gonna choose one. You've gotta contact me to tell me if you're the winner. Okay, so ryan.post, if you're still here on Instagram, you are a winner, so you've gotta DM us with your address. And here I'm gonna say, Julie has um, been a really great participant. So Julie, if you're still watching as well, contact me and I will send you your prize as well. You could just um, DM or message plant trainers or message me, Shoshana Chaim. All right, everybody, have a great evening. Bye-bye.